everybody's first one on the list for 50 bucks is the Nintendo 64 Game Suck version 2.0, which you can see on the back there. Don't know if you can see that, but 2.0, yep. And yeah, I got this because I wanted to uh, use this with Banjo Kazooie, Banjo Tooie, and any N64 games that I have. Um, I do have Banjo Kazooie and Banjo Tooie on the Nintendo 64 now, complete in box. And I will be doing a long play of both of those for Patreon. So you can uh, check them out on Patreon as well. Don't know when they'll come up, but they will uh, show up sometime in the fu near future. Uh, Banjo Kazooie for N64 might be this month. Um, Banjo Tui will probably be next month. So I can get through those games pretty quickly and then uh, they'll be uploaded for Patreon. And um, next one up is uh, we got two strategy guides in this one. This bill. And um, this one is a very, very thick, thick book. Tomb Raider Legend. The complete guide. This is a really one. Really thick book. This is uh, Piggyback Interactive. So if you want to check that out, piggybackinteractive.com. This is uh, one who did this book. So not Prima, not uh, Nintendo Power. Well, this wasn't on Nintendo. Well, this game was on the Nintendo GameCube. It, it is, it still is. But uh, this is better played on other consoles. Uh, specifically Xbox 360. And maybe PS3 as well, because it, it was part of the Tomb Raider trilogy on PS3 with Anniversary and Underworld. But yeah, this is a very, very thick book. We got so many pages in here. It's ridiculous. Um, they got list 193 pages in this book. Yeah, this is a huge one, to say the least. <laughs> Alright. Yep. This one cost me uh, $50, I believe. No. The thickest book that I've got. Well, apart from uh, the Cyberpunk Collector's Edition book which is obviously the thickest one and that was got at a different game store ironically for 50 but uh, this one was $50 and it's the thickest book that I got at this one store so that was pretty interesting the next one however is a little thinner book but it's Luigi's Mansion and this one was 50 and I believe, yep, the, it still has the double-sided poster still in here. So these strategy guides are pretty much almost new and haven't been uh, tampered with. Some might have a little bit of cover damage, um, but uh, for the most part, a lot of these are in great condition, which I do like. I just don't think uh, some of the prices are reasonable. Like the Paper Mario one, $100 one, I think that would be better suited for maybe 70 75 but not 100 Um The last strategy guide book I got there might be maybe more 60 or 50 but not 70 so there's that. Um, and the last item on this bill here is another WWE game, Smackdown, uh, Smackdown Here Comes the Pain. Here comes the pain indeed. Got the back there. Yep, I played this game a long ass time ago. This one complete. And this one was 70. Yep, 70 sale I think. And it's sold out now. But when I saw this game be available again, for 90 bucks, it didn't have the manual. 
So once again, people are getting screwed over for the price when clearly I got the better of the deal. <laughs> well, I don't know. All right, next one up, we got um, um, this next bill here. I got three strategy guys, the final three that I got so far. So the first one is another thick ass book. Final Fantasy X2. <laughs> I figured why not, right? I mean, I got the sealed game and you can play on PlayStation 4, PS3, uh, Xbox One series system. You can play the remastered version of the game. So I figured why not? Maybe I could learn a thing or two with this strategy guide uh, from Brady Games. Official strategy guide. It's a thick book as well, just like Tomb of the Legend. So this is a huge game, and I bet there would be a lot of detail in it. It does have a double-sided poster in this, um, a stat shot, and the three cover girls in weird animal costumes or whatever on the other side of the poster, and that just, that just looks weird. So so yeah. So yeah, I, uh, I thought this would be pretty cool. And this one was 20 bucks. Tomb Raider Legend was 25. Okay, $5 difference. But Luigi's Mansion was 50. And it's thinner. Why? I don't know. Alright, the next strategy guide here. Um, and then uh, the final WWE game I got. And the last strategy guide book I got. So this strategy guide is Saddle Heart Covenant. From Brady Games as well. I thought I'd have this because I was always interested in this game as well. And it covers the PS2 version of the game. I don't think it's on any other system. So... I don't know why it would say that when that's the only system it's been on, but whatever. Official Strategy Guide by uh, A. Kathleen. Hmm, interesting. So, I guess she did a lot of this book uh, on Brady Games. And yeah. Now, the prices on these uh, Strategy Guides are obviously the prices that when they came out. But when I did this, I paid 34 even though the price in Canada, 22 Yeah. Obviously, prices increase over the years, so you can obviously, obviously say that's a load of bull crap. And WWE, following the SmackDown vs. Raw, I got SmackDown vs. Raw 07. SmackDown Here Comes the Pain, and the original SmackDown vs. Raw. Why not? This is a little bit, little bit holographic as well on the front cover. And yeah, this is also complete. I got this one for $8.50 on sale. And yeah. Got that, so that's awesome. Um, yeah, we got a bit more in the box here, but then we got another little box. Um, oh, last strategy guide for 70 bucks. Another N64 game, Rare One by Rare Rare. Conquer that for the. Yeah. So, this book is uh, in decent uh, condition as well. There's the sticker right there. $17.85? But that sticker's been on a, an electronics boutique store a very, very, very long time ago. So, And this book came out in 2001. So it's been a long time. $17.95 Canadian dollars when this came out but 70 now and you don't really find a lot of these these days unless you order on the website if you go to uh, 
polymer.com or something you can uh, order these books online as well so that's something you can do and yeah i thought i'd get that just because i'm a fan of uh concrete by pro day and yeah all right so it's been 11 minutes all right we don't have much more left so i'll try and finish it in this video uh, next one we have is uh, three games, uh, two for the original Xbox and one for PS2, so this game, I played a lot of on this channel, the Xbox 360 version, Burnout Revenge on the original Xbox this time, and yes, this is a little different from the 360 version, and I will be doing a long play of this one for Patreon. I don't know when it'll come, but this will be uploaded sometime on Patreon, so um, this one doesn't have the extra class junctions like they, there is in 360 version, and the uh, main menu screen, and the uh, race or event selection screen are different in the two versions, so you'll see the differences. And this will be in fully, a fully played long play, 100% on uh, Patreon. So there's that. This is a game I've never played before. The final two in this box right here, I haven't played before. This one is Burnout 2 Develop Developer's Cut on the original Xbox. I don't know where I'll play this. I could play it on the YouTube channel, but obviously the songs are going to be um, licensed and I can't have that on the channel, especially on Burnout Games. So I could play this as a let's play on Patreon. So. If you guys want to see this be played on YouTube without the soundtrack, then let me know in the comments below. Uh, if you want to see it on Patreon, then let me know if you want that as well. And I've never played this before, so... I got the original Xbox version because there's Xbox exclusive uh, high octane classes and 21 exclusive custom car skins as well as an online leaderboard if it's still active. So I don't know about that. I don't really worry much about the online stuff, but I figured the PS2 um, original Xbox version would be a bit better because of the exclusivity of the uh, content. And the last one in this box is for, um, oh, Burnout Revenge, 10 bucks. Um, this game, Burnout 2, is twenty nine seventy five on sale. This next one, 135 on sale from 150 regular price. And that's Shadow Hearts Covenant. Complete. And I was surprised about this as well. We got the, the manual there, but we also got not one, but two discs. So. That was uh, surprising to find out, but uh, there we go. Got two of the discs, and it's complete, and it's original cover as well, so all is good with this. So uh, since I got the um, strategy guide, I might as well get the game to complete the package. Alrighty, box. Get out of here. Okay, we got all that, we got all that. All right. Then there's these ones, so I can show you this. Um, I also had gotten Rayman 3 for PS2, but I no longer have that. Um, there's a Need for Speed, Pro Street I do have, but I didn't get it as a shipment, I just got it when I was there. Alright, this, yeah, these four games right here. If you want to see my reaction to unboxing these four games, um, you uh, have to go onto my Patreon because I uploaded the May unboxing shipment there on Patreon. Alright, this one. This one 
was my most recent uh, shipment. Uh, that, along with two more shipments, is my most recent uh, shipments in the past um, week or so. So, let's do that. First one up, for $25 on sale, I think, is Sly 3 Honor Among Thieves for PS2. Original cover is complete inside. And something I found interesting is that the manual, it says Thievius Lacunas, and that's the first game, right? You would think that would be the first game manual, but it's actually the same um, cover on the manual for all three Sly Cooper games on the PS2. Because the first one has the same thing as well. And in this book, it talks about Sly 3. So, there's that. And I bet this will be the same in the Sly Crew case, but that's sealed and I don't want to open it, so... I bet this will be the same as well. But something else that's different in this case. Sly 3D glasses. Because you can do this game in 3D with the glasses that came with the game. And you would think that these days there wouldn't be one available. However, in this one, this was surprising to me too. I, This came with it. Sly 3, Honor Among Thieves. On both sides. So yeah. This was very interesting. And yeah, I'm happy I got this. <laughs> oh wow, this looks weird as hell. <laughs> Red and blue tint. The picture is not exactly clear. Wow. <laughs> just, this could give you a headache if you're not used to it. Um, I do have uh, the Coraline Special Edition uh, movie. And I guess I could show you that as well. Hold on. Get out of here, you jack of 